told Alex Haley on February the 20th, 1965, the day before he was murdered, and I quote, the more I keep thinking about this thing, the things that have been happening lately, I'm not at all sure it's the Muslims. I know what they can do and what they can't, and they can't do some of the stuff recently going on. The next morning, February 21st, the day of his murder, Malcolm left his 12th floor hotel room, got into his blue Oldsmobile, and finally parked his car a number of blocks from the Audubon Ballroom, where his organization's meeting was to take place. He entered the main ballroom about 2.30 p.m. Shortly after 3 p.m., approximately 400 people had crowded into the ballroom, sitting on folding wooden chairs. One of Malcolm's aides introduced him. The New York Herald Tribune on February the 22nd, 1965, reconstructed what happened from eyewitness accounts. The applause stopped, and the people sat down, and Malcolm's goatee face looked up, and he said, Assalamu alaikum. And the crowd murmured its response of, Peace be with you also, Walikum Salam. And then the two leadoff men made their move. They were in a middle row, and they stood up and started pushing each other. And one of them was saying, get your hands out of my pocket. Stop messing with my pocket. Malcolm's bodyguards started to move towards them to break it up. And up on the stage, Malcolm stepped out from behind the lectern. And he was saying, now brothers, break it up. Let's cool it. He stood there, alone on the stage, with one hand up in the air. And he was a perfect target. And a man, police say he was Thomas Hagen, ran down the aisle with a shotgun and the ones with him were already shooting. When the shotgun was right in front of Malcolm X, both barrels raked him. Several questions arise from press accounts of what happened that day. In all three New York morning papers, descriptions were given of the capture of two suspects at the Audubon immediately after the murder. In later editions of the same papers and from then on, only one suspect was said to have been captured at the scene by the police, and the press never questioned this. An early edition of the New York Times dated February 22, 1965, in an article headlined, Malcolm X shot to death at rally here, said, quote, the police indicated two suspects were being questioned, end of quote. One of those suspects was identified as Thomas Hagen. In a later paragraph, the capture of the second suspect was described. The New York Times said patrolman Thomas Hoy, 22, said he had been stationed outside the 166th Street entrance when, quote, I heard the shooting and the place exploded. According to the New York Times, he rushed in, saw Malcolm lying on the stage and, quote, grabbed a suspect who he said some people were chasing. As I brought him to the front of the ballroom, the crowd began beating me and the suspect, Patrolman Hoy explained. 